Relatively out is a view group that displays child views in relative positions. The position of each view can be specified as relative to sibling elements, such as the left of or below another view, the right of another view, and so on. Or in positions relative to the parent relative layout area, such as the aligned to the bottom, left, or center. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. A relative layout is a very powerful utility for designing a user interface because it can eliminate nested view groups and keep your layout hierarchy flat, which improves performance. If you find yourself using several nested linear layout groups, you may be able to replace them with a single relative layout. Let's see some properties of this relative layout. For positioning views, relative layout lets child views specify their position relative to the parent view or to each other specified by ID. This is a very important Note that we should specify the ID if we are replacing and positioning the elements relative to each other. So we use the ID. So you can align two elements by right border or make one below another, centered in the screen, centered left, and so on. By default, all child views are drawn at the top left of the layout. So you must define the position of each view using the various layout properties available from layout, relative layout dot layout params. Some of the properties of the relative layout, the Android layout align parent top. If true, this is an attribute. If it is, its value is equal to true, makes that the top edge of this view match the top edge of the parent. Android layout underscore below, the layout below attribute will position the top edge of this view below the view specified with a resource ID. This is very important it's attribute and we will use it later on in many uh, videos and in many apps using a and specifying a resource ID. The layout to write off attribute will position the left edge of this view to the right of the view specified with a resource ID and layout center vertical. If it is true, it will center the this child vertically within its parent. So this is some of the and the main attributes of the relative layout. In the next video, we will see the relative layout in Android Studio and deep dive and use these attributes to see this action and the action on the nested or the sibling views inside the, this. Hello, my friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the relative layout in Android Studio. I will remove all these linear layout and view view groups elements and in the main activity.xml I will show you how to create and use the relative layout in Android Studio. We start by relative layout or you can simply drag and drop from here a relative layout to your view. Okay, but there is an error here because I didn't specify the, the, some attributes to this relative layout. The first thing I need to add is XMLNS. This is for the resources for the relative layout. 
I will go to split mode. And here, Alt plus Enter to define layout height attribute. So Android, the layout underscore height. This is the layout parameters, params that we've talked about it. And I need to add another required attribute, which is the layout underscore width. You see that it's required. I will make it as match parent and match parent. You see that the view is updated and this is the relative layout, which fills the screen by getting the height and the width as match parent attribute values. Okay. Now I will add the greater than sign. So I will get this closing text. This will define the relative layout in Android Studio. Don't miss this line, it's very important, okay? Now, ID, I will give it an ID, relative one, and this is a root layout. This is the root element. Inside this, between this sign, this capital, this greater than sign, to this closing sign and this closing tag, we can add the elements and position the elements in a relative way. Okay? So, for example, text view. Let me create this first widget wrap content. ID will be text one and the text inside it it will be text one okay the size would be 32 in order to see it well in the screen text size okay this is the attribute the text size is equal 32 and this is the widget the view that we are uh, using it inside and placing it inside the relative layout till now everything is working fine now use this assign for the widgets also now let me add another widget which is a button Wrap content, wrap content, text size or text, click me, and the ID would be BTM. Okay? Till now, everything is working fine. But if we look closer to here, that the text is under the bottom. And by default, as we see in the presentation, that every widget is added when it's added to this relative layout, it will be added to the left upper upper left corner of the screen. So, how to move this button? How to move it, and uh, how to keep it away from this text? We use the attributes for that we've seen. Uh, that are related to the relative layout. So, pay attention with me, guys. If I need to place this button under the text, I put Android, I use this layout attribute or the view attribute, layout below or underscore below, and this is the trick that I've talked about it. I need to specify the ID of the view that I should uh, position the, this, uh, this attribute or this view in relative to it. So this button is below the text view, which a text view, the text view that have the ID text one. So if I put text one here, it will give me the button 
is below the text view having an id text one okay it's very simple if i create another view now let me create another review called button wrap content wrap content text would be button two and id will be btn2 i need to place it under that the uh, button one so i used below id btn so you can see that button two is placed under the uh, button one i can also use layout and these attributes i can use many attributes above a line base button and a line left so i use the line left or or uh, i will align right to the id btn okay this is how we align to the right okay If I use left, you can. This is according to the uh, to the attribute of the layout. Okay, I can. This is left. I can use also yeah layout align and left parent parent left. If I put parent left or parent right here it will give me like this so what are the parent right i can put like this and use the parent that we need to show that we should align it for it okay i can also use these other attributes center vertical center horizontal you can see that we should so i will use true here so you can see that we've centered it horizontal okay i can use align parent or left through okay or I can make a line parent right you can see it or I can remove this I will give it to the button here to the button number one okay so button number one is aligned the parent right this will be as a center horizontal and so on this is how we specify the attributes for this layout how to place elements relative to each other inside the relative 